today we got the Samsung A02S this phone has a broken charging port I'm going to show you how the customer broke the charging port so let's now replace this one First thing first, let's remove the SIM card tray. After that, we can detach the frame from the housing. You can use any plastic piece or any card to remove the pack from the housing. We have fingerprint sensor flex cable connected to the back. So be careful in which way you pull out. We don't need to damage that or cut this flex cable. Let's remove all the screws. After that, we are going to remove the shield. You can remove the shield by the side. All right, it's removed. Now we are going to unplug the battery first. After that, we unplug the fingerprint sensor. We are going to down. Let's remove all the screws from the loudspeaker. You can remove from the side or oh, something got away. What is it? It's a pen connected like an antenna. So I don't know what caused this one to fly away, but we are going to solder it after we finish replacing the charging port connector. Anyway, you can just fix this problem by replacing this subboard. Right? This piece ca can just be replaced or you can just continue to remove the charging port itself. You can use the heating iron with the soldering iron. We have uh, glue and the pads. I didn't remove them first, so I'm going to use the soldering iron to remove it. I'm heating with the heating gun with the 420 series degree to remove this charging port. You can see how the charging port is broken. We never see something like that, but it happens with the customers, especially with the childs. They don't know how to insert the charging or they drop the phone while the charging in. This is a flux paste. All right, this is a low temperature soldering. We are going to go all over the pads. So we mix with the melting temperature. We can now remove the glue, all right. Because I didn't remove it first, I'm going now to remove it. Uh, be careful while you are removing it. I scratch some pads a little bit. Uh, first time this thing happens with me. Maybe I press too much. Anyway, let's now remove the soldering. We need everything to be clean in here. We move the connected point. We are going to make it straight when we finish. Make sure to remove all the soldering. We still have a little bit. Let's now clean. I'm using isopropyl alcohol 99%. Clean all the black area. This is a new. Let's put some soldering to the pads because we are going to put the charging port connector. We have a hidden pins inside. So we have to put some soldering because we can do it from the outside. We can just doing the top one. The bottom we can't even reach them. All right, this is the new connector. I'm going to use the heating gun. I can use it now for 380 series degree 
because I have a, a low soldering melting so it will melt in different temperature than before so you can push the connector on place all right I think it's now good let's now flip it to solder the legs we have four legs to solder them be careful not to push or damage all components or knock down any components all right we are finished soldering the four legs let's now flip it back to solder all the pins at the top to make sure everything is solid and making a connection we are going to use the micro soldering tip to do that this tip is panked it's uh, dropped from me or painted by mistake I can't remember you can see now the soldering going to the pads to making the pads more solid we have to left all right you can go back and forth to make sure everything is perfect we don't need the customer to come back and the next day why the phone is not charging again some pins could not be connected solid so they will disconnect when they move the charger from the inside so you have to solder them more good to make sure everything is perfect We are good now let's now make this pen connected like straight I moved it by mistake all right let's do that and we have another one that it fly out we are going to solder it back Before we proceed let's make sure all the pads are connected you can go through them with that tweezer to make sure they are solid and good let's do clean quick and we are done let's put some soldering to put that one in position anyway I'm just going to mention that I did put this one in the positive direct in the negative direction it should be like the one to the left the same direction I noticed that when I assembled the device so I removed it and flipped the connected pin this is to make the cellular more stronger so we have some antenna connected to some area so this will make the signal better so it's important to be good and connected anyway everything now in position let's now check and test if the phone is charging this is what we were 
supposed to do. As I told you, you can just uh, buy few more dollars and you can just buy the support if you don't need to make that job more complicated to you. Let's put all the screws down. I'm positive of my work. Sometimes we got missed of something, but and every time we are good making the job perfect. After that, I'm going to test to see if we have a charging icon. The phone was zero. All right, let's put now the connector, sensor connector. And put the shield, put all the screws, make sure this antenna wire in its position. We don't need to damage that wire when we close the back. This is very important. Anyway, we are just finished here. If you have any questions, you can just leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We will do something else in the next video. Peace.